the intense creative, the person that is very creative, they focus on expressing themselves. They are very attuned to their emotions and probably to the emotions of others. They feel that there is always something missing from their life and the grass is always greener. Amy Winehouse is a, a good example. She is a person who managed with her songwriting to attune to emotions and to really create these pieces of art that are touching other people. If, if these people, these talented people, these intense creatives, write down all they feel gratitude for, all that they are talented and they're working towards their favor, they would see that this list will weigh on the side of the pros. So once they see all these virtues, immediately they start to understand that they're worthy. The next one is the quiet specialist. They want to learn a lot and they believe that the world is invasive and they need to preserve their energy and their resources. A famous example of a quiet specialist is Bill Gates. He's taking uh, two weeks every year and he's isolating himself in a cabin with a big stack of books and he dedicates that time to read and to learn. I would say that uh, the quiet specialists, they like to think a lot and analyze things in their head. Yeah. So I would say that they should partner up with someone who's more decisive in taking action. Yes, theory precedes practice, but if you stay too long on theory, then you should become a philosopher rather than a practitioner. The adaptive peacemaker. They are the persons who want to bring harmony and peace in the groups that they are in. And they focus on making sure that other people do not have conflicts between them. They... Uh, tend to neglect their own well-being and their own opinions and they don't show their own opinions. Queen Elizabeth of England, throughout her um, reign, she managed to keep the harmony, she managed to not get involved in conflicts, in politics. My advice to everyone who's an adaptive peacemaker is partner up with someone inside the office that has different characteristics than yours. Practice t putting yourself first. With the little things. You don't Correct. have to do it at work. Practice doing things that are just for you. I think you speak from experience, Sophia. That's my <laughs> feeling from this example. I, I have a feeling this is spoken from experience. It came, came from the gut, from the feeling. And the feeling. <laughs> I cannot so deny you. and confirm, but yes. Uh, okay. <laughs>